These cues really help with the kettlebell snatch. First, it's a lot like the swing, only instead of generating the power out, you're gonna generate the power up. Picture a wall right in front of you. You've gotta float, using the power of your hips, you've gotta float that bell all the way to above your head and then finish the movement. Now, a mistake I see people make is that they bring the bell to about here and then press it all the way out. Like we want that bell to float and then just finish the movement by punching through at the very top. That means it takes a lot of power from your hips. So a little more gusto here will help your snap quite a bit. The other thing is when you do press through, don't let your wrist bend back. You don't ever wanna act like the kettlebell is heavy. You don't want it to know that you think it's heavy. So you don't let it bend you. You always keep your wrist straight. Now that doesn't mean you have to over grip the bell. In fact, you should be able to waggle your fingers right at the top. Uh, people get nervous about the bell coming around and hitting them in the back of the wrist, so they try to grab onto the horn. Isn't super successful because it actually means a harder landing. If you punch through successfully, it'll land light as a feather. One of the best cues I've heard on this I got from David Whitley. Uh, he says, so once you've generated enough power so that the, the bell is floated to here, you're going to become the eager kid in class, the one that was kind of annoying and always knew the answers. This kid, remember him? That's the one I want you to turn into. So you're gonna float, I know the answer. All right, those are the two things that you need to know. First I'm gonna show you without a kettlebell and then I'll show you with a kettlebell. So just like with a swing, start with the bell out in front of you, H -h hike it back into your business. From there, squeeze your glutes, slam your hips forward, power the bell up, it's floating, it's floating, punch through at the top. Got it? From here, you're gonna, just like you sh shoot a basket, pop it off your wrist, drag it down the front of your body, back into the swing position, hips go back. From there, you're gonna reverse the movement immediately. Up, tilt, down. So now I'll show you with the kettlebell. 